Well, hello students again, Mr. Eklund. Going through an example with you on worksheet number seven. Worksheet seven, question two. A lot of students miss this. So watch it carefully, it's easy. Just go slow, stop, and think about it. What's going on? Time zero, a car goes from 30 all the way down to 15. You're losing velocity or you are decelerating. Before you graph it, go back and get all the numbers filled in for the diagram. You can do it two ways. You can stop and think about it and figure out what you lose every single second. Or use an equation. By using an equation, the final, the initial, AT. Final velocity, 15. Initial velocity, 30. I don't know acceleration, A. Time is 6. Bring this over here. Negative 30 over here becomes negative 15. 6A. A becomes a negative 2.5 meters per second per second. You lose 2.5 meters per second in velocity every single second. That's by the equation. Some people might slip in their head and think, I can do it in my head. That's okay too, as long as you understand what you're doing. Diagram, you lose two and a half. 30 goes to 27.5, lose two and a half. 25, 25, lose two and a half. 22.5, lose two and a half. 20, lose two and a half, 17.5. There's your diagram. All the way down, 30 to 15. You're losing, 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 losing two and a half meters per second every single second. There's your diagram. You need the diagram for the questions and the graph. Let's go graph it. Time, zero to six. Down here. Call this zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's my time in seconds. Okay, if velocity goes from 30 to 15, be careful. Don't call this 15. No, that's the origin. The origin is always zero, zero. One more time. In a math class, there's the origin. It's always zero, zero. So start from here, zero, count up. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. There's my scale. Always again, start at zero, zero. Now, go plot it. Times zero, 30. Times zero, you're at 30. Time one, 27.5. Time one, 27.5. Time two, 25. Time two, 25. Time three, 22.5. Time three, 22.5. Time four, 20. Time four, 20. Time five, 17.5, 17.5. And time six, 15. Right there it is. There is my data. Now, you want to draw a best fit line. Get an edge, like a ruler, and draw a best fit line. So here we go. Over here, draw your best fit line all the way down. Best fit. There's my best fit line. Okay, now a few things. There's a graph. Does this graph have a slope? Well, let's go play with it. Slope. Slope is rise over run. Go back to your graph and look for a triangle. Draw it any way you want. Here's a triangle. When you start doing slope, always, always show me your triangle. It goes from 15 to 30. 
That's a rise of 15 meters per second. It does it with a run of six seconds. Six seconds. That gives me two and a half meters per second per second. And in a math class, that slope's negative. It's going down. It's a negative slope. So I found acceleration, the slope. I found acceleration, the slope. Slope is acceleration. So on this graph, slope gives you acceleration. Next question. Let's find distance. Distance. Let's find distance from zero to six. How far did you travel? Well, there's different ways. One way, by an equation. The initial position is zero. Average velocity. Coming down the graph, where is the average? Right there, dead center. Or, from 30 to 15, where is the average? Right there, 22.5. For six seconds. That's 135 meters. That's one method. That's done by the equation. Method two. You can do area. For a velocity versus time graph, the area gives you displacement, the distance. But be careful. Your area is all the way down to the horizontal line, zero. Now look here. Area here, area here. That's a triangle, that's a rectangle. Let's compute it. Area. Triangle. One half base times height. One half. The base is six. The height is 15. So half is a six. Half of six is three. Three times 15, that's 45 meters. Let's do area again. Area for the rectangle is length times width. The length is six. The height is 15. Six times 15 is 90. I add 90 plus 45, 90 meters, I will get 135 meters. Adding 90 plus, 90 plus 45. So I can do the problem now two ways. Equation or by area. And the area has two areas, triangle and rectangle. There's also a third way. Watch. This is kind of cool. A third way. You can count boxes. Watch. Count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. There are 18 boxes here. 18 boxes. Then this one. Well, if you look carefully, same rectangle. This is 18, but it's only half of that. This is nine boxes. One more time. This is six times three. That's 18 boxes. This is three times six. Take half, that's nine boxes, or half the rectangle. So nine plus 18 is 27 boxes. 27 boxes. Now look carefully. Here's a box. Is that box one by five? One by five? Each box is worth five meters. And five times 27? gives you 135 meters. Again, look carefully, play with it. You can do distance by the equation, by area, or just count in boxes. Anyway, that's it. I'm done. Go play with worksheet number seven, get it corrected, and then resubmit it. Bye-bye. <laughs>